revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals! Where are they? We're all being played here, including you! <laughs> it's... <coughs> the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years... What would you have me do? You were a child. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Just... give me some time to think it through, okay?
This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. That man doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. No, it's just too bad he wasn't honest as well. He had his flaws, yes. But you more than anyone should be able to appreciate that he was a complicated man. Think back to that night, as hard as it might be to do so. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. But do I really want to know?
Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a mugging. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. You owe me, Harvey, and now I need your help. Those are donations, not loans. You're not entitled to a pound of flesh. Hell, I'll settle for a handshake and a blind eye. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. He's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Well, whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. And that's the problem. People are either scared out of their wits or they're trying to copy him. Well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. All right, Falcone's inside. Say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Bruce Wayne, you must have some clout. <coughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. Goddamn Batman. I haven't took a beat in this bed since before I got made. <coughs> Your father used to sew me up. Better than these cop doctors. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me. We're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. 
Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? I need you alive, but only until I have answers. Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, Made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! And we are in deep shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. Isn't it obvious? She wanted to shut Falcone up for good. I mean, this whole damn force is riddled with corruption. Someone must have got to her, Jim. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Someone planned this for a reason. Even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. The 
fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Montoya remembers being drugged. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. You know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Oh, don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate Prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now, you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just... Give me something to run with. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. 
It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. No one will miss him, you can be sure of that. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. You go. You'll be the right. You're right. for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. 
It's time he met the Batman. You lot, come check out this office. Where is he? I don't know! Wait, the first call! Oh, hey, finally! You can help me. Uh, we can join Falcone in the dead. <laughs> Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself! And did it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out! Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! Alfred, 
track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. It's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Please, don't wreck my bar. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle? 
penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, Not done yet. They want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! We should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like
looks like they're in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. The whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor, too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Mm -hmm. 